Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker, Dean Hop Realtors. Believe it or not, this is my 500th video. I cannot believe I've been doing these videos for seven years now, and I'm super proud of how my channel has grown. But for this 500th video, I want to do something extra special. So I'm in a gorgeous home, and we're going to bring back someone you haven't seen in a while, my special assistant. Yeah. Miss Amy Payne's going to be joining us today to help tour this gorgeous home. All right, scooch on out of here. <laughs> Uh, the home we're looking at today is by KC Custom Homes. They're an incredible builder. This is their newest model in Vintage Oaks, New Braunfels, Texas. Let's go check it out. I absolutely love their new model. And uh, it wasn't about six months ago I did a video tour of their other model, which has now been sold. I'll put a link to that right up top here. But they're now located kind of in the back corner of Vintage Oaks. So if you come in the ex the entrance at 2722, this can be your first right-hand turn. And you'll see we have a couple other model homes back here. But I love KC Homes. I love how they build the houses and their business, how they have it kind of set up. Because this is a family-owned business. Um, they've got the like two brothers and a sister, and they all work for the company, and they all do different things. So I do love how they stick to their family roots, and they don't have any... Uh, set plans because every home is a full custom home that one of the things i like to say is they never build the same home twice all right let's head on inside all right i love this door and here she is miss amy gonna be helping us today right when you come in you just i love the entrance and i gotta also emphasize that they have really gone all out showcasing what kc custom homes can do um their average kind of what square foot, price per square foot they end up at it's around 300 but they can build some homes as low as 260 a square foot and as you can tell they can go nuts so if that's what the client wants to I i'm just blown away i haven't seen a ceiling like that done before that is just gorgeous so yeah lots and lots of living space lots of great lighting in this plan this house is just over 4500 square feet so it really looks nice. I love the, uh, how they got the fireplace and taking it all the way up through the beams and just tons of windows in here. You also have some little extra nooks if you want to have your little bar set up with your wine chiller, a couple of bottles of good whiskey. And as you can tell, they've won a few awards in their day. So you know they've been around for a while. It's not going to be a uh, little uh, Pop-Tart builder that comes and goes really quick. Got a space set aside for the formal dining room space, a little mini A-frame set up, and a little extra like kind of butler section. So if you're doing a buffet, plenty of storage space, plenty of places to put like your buffet line. And talk about being able to entertain. Uh, love the waterfall island they've done. When I say waterfall, it means they take the countertop and just kind of take it all the way over across the edge. Just absolutely gorgeous, and this place is really set up for entertaining. Uh, Gen Air appliances, they're gonna be kind of the uber top end stuff. This is in the natural gas portion of Vintage Oaks, so they got their six top burner, and I love how they got the same uh, granite, I believe that's granite, or maybe even marble going all the way up top. But it's absolutely gorgeous kitchen, and uh, yeah, I love the sink. They've got the farmhouse sink there. And if you haven't done one of these granite composite sinks, I have one of these in my house. Absolutely love it because stainless steel does scratch. This doesn't. And all you gotta do is get like a plumber's helper if there is some stuff in there and it just cleans up so nicely. Pull of olive oil on it and it shines gorgeous. But one thing you note I haven't seen is a pantry in this house just yet. Where's that pantry located? It's right here. It's a secret pantry. A secret pantry, you say? Yeah. All right, let's check out this secret pantry. Wow, this is nice. Uh, this is a really good sized pantry. Tons of storage space in here. They've got a little nook if you want to put your vacuum cleaner and stuff or little uh, cleaning supplies, all that right inside there. Plenty of space in this pantry. And, oh, I haven't shown you these in the, the beams in the kitchen, vaulted ceilings. This house just has so much going for it. All right. They also have this whole wall of windows here um, that they can do. Let's see if I can find a door that's open. 
I got a little side door open here. There we go. All right, love the outdoor living space. Got kind of the big ass fan thing going there. And uh, this kind of gives you an idea of where to find this model home. If you're going down 2722, you see the little vintage oaks water tower. That's when you make your left hand turn and then your first right to find the model home. They got setups for outdoor kitchens, all this good stuff. They even got a little TV jack there. So wow, this model home really is showcasing what KC Customs Homes can do. Amy, can you grab that door for me? Thank you, ma'am. All right, let's go look at some of these secondary bedrooms. I love the fact they got eight foot doors throughout. Lots and lots of spaces. You're gonna have your powder room kind of tucked away. Off here, some nice lighting. Plenty of space in the powder room. And you come down this hallway, we got so much extras going on. Would this be your room, Amy, if you lived here? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Perfect little space. Love the little extra little seating area here going into your closet. So this is definitely a long-term guest bedroom. Could be even a mother-in-law suite if you wanted to have it done because it's got its own full bathroom all attached to this room with a walk-in shower. I mean, this place just really has it all. Love the looks of it, love the lighting in here. So yeah, I can see why you would want this as your whole bedroom. It's so slay, yeah. All right, we have another entrance to the outdoor living space area. Got a little locker room kind of set up. So if you wanted to store some extra things, but then you got your game room. Uh, you can turn this pool room, poker room, uh, whatever you want to do with this space. But wow, Casey does build a gorgeous home. I really do like them a lot. In fact, they got this whole entertainment space. If you're in the New Braunfels area and if you're builder shopping, you definitely got to come by here. And yeah, go ahead and let them know that uh, you saw me on, saw Jason Payne on uh, YouTube or Rumble because my stuff shows up there as well. But uh, yeah, that'd be much appreciated. All right, coming in here, we got more bedrooms kind of tucked away on this wing of the house. Let's go back this way. So we got these two bedrooms here that are gonna be sharing, uh, I believe it's gonna be sharing a bathroom. I don't know if I've walked all the way back here. Okay, we got, looks like we're gonna have a shared sink for these two bedrooms. Big, big mirror, full closet there. And this leads into that other bedroom. Oh, my wife, my daughter saying that there's another sink right there too. So it looks like they're all gonna have their own full bathroom because this bedroom is gonna have another full shower. Okay, yeah, this is definitely a step up because yeah, each bedroom is gonna have its own sink. So like I said, this bedroom will have its own full sink. And then you come into the communal bathroom between the two rooms and then this door could be shut and that one will have its own sink for there. So I'm assuming this bedroom is gonna have its own closet. And here it is. Once again, another good size little mini walk-in closet with your shoe rack or boot rack. Amy, what did you just come from today? What did you just go do? Um, I came from horseback riding. Where'd you go horseback riding at? Hollow tree? Yeah. Yeah, it's located just across the street from Vintage Oaks. So if you are buying a lot in Vintage Oaks and getting a, let's say, Casey Custom Homes house built, right across the street on the other side of 46, you do have Hollow Tree uh, Horse Ranch. They do trail rides, uh, lessons, whole bunch of good stuff. We've been doing that for Amy this summer and she has thoroughly enjoyed it. So yeah, if they also, you can board horses there as well. Let's see. All right, coming back through the main living space, just showing off how gorgeous this is. Oh, one more feature that you see in Perry Homes all the time, so I'm good to see other people doing this, is utilizing the extra storage underneath the island. 
So if you'd like to have your mixing bowls and all that stuff, things you don't use very often, you can tuck it away in there. All right, let's head off to the master bedroom wing because there's so much back on just this wing in the house to include this little office area. So you can't have a big house like this without having an office space. Office space with lots of windows. What's back here, Miss Amy? It is. All right. What do you like about this bedroom? Um, I like the ceiling. You like the ceiling, the tray ceiling, the big old fan. Yeah. You know what I like about this bedroom? It's own fireplace. That is good. Having a little linear fireplace and a spot to put your TV, so you can just lay in bed and be all cozy with the fire and kind of just watching TV as well. Check this out. They've gone all out on this bathroom. Remember, they are a full custom home builder. So if you wanna go absolutely bonkers like they did in this bathroom, you certainly can. You got the water closet tucked away over here. I love the little lighting underneath the uh, vanity, but just really nice. They even got a little uh, coffee bar set up over on this side, but check out this tub. You're doing a great job, Amy. Yes, uh, they kept the theme of the circle, the circle top, cool light fixture, and then the circle tub below, absolutely gorgeous. And here's the other vanity, because of course you gotta have two of them. Guess whose vanity you would get this the is? Vanity. Yes. That's What's this spot vanity. used for? What? What's this little spot for? For a chair. Yes, for. Yes. You can. That's obviously the husband's vanity because you know, they don't do that much stuff. Yes, we don't do that much stuff, exactly. All right, this shower, shower is, is really neat. Check this out. Massive. Massive shower. Yeah, you could. You got your rain shower above. Very cool, and I love the, the, what they did on the flooring in the shower. But they can't just stop there. They're gonna have- sauna. You've got a sauna, exactly. To have a sauna in your bathroom. This is a fairly big sauna. It is, you can fit two people real comfortably and four people if you don't mind getting a little cozy in here. So yeah, that's, that's a really nice sauna. All right, like I said, I've been a big fan of this builder. Um, Let's go check out the master bedroom closet because, yeah, it's super nice as well. That's just a linen closet, no big deal. <coughs> but plenty of space in here. I love the fact you got a little small peekaboo window up there for extra lighting. And then this closet just keeps going. So big. Oh, nice mirror there to check yourself. Make sure you're all prettied up before you go out. You can live just in the closet. It's so big. Nice. Lots of shoe racks, lots of hanging stuff, but it does have that sneaky need that I like a lot, uh, is having the laundry room attached to the master bedroom closet. So you can just go straight from uh, pulling your stuff out of the washer and dryer and then hanging it up immediately. But they do have a hang up bar there. So we haven't show shown you this, but I wanted to wait until we saw the master bedroom but this goes into the the garage, the three car garage, but they're using it as their office right now. So no need going into that. But you do have this really nice laundry room set up. Another little storage closet if you want to have your brooms, your uh, cordless vacuum cleaner. But yeah, this is such a cool design being able to just do that. Oh, one more thing they did. Add, I've gone on to some other builders who didn't do this, adding this lock there. So you don't want to, if you've got like five year olds, you don't want them having access to your master bedroom closet and bathroom. You want to be able to lock that door. But yeah, beautifully done. And coming back out through the master bedroom with their little linear fireplace. Just so much about this builder that I like. So 
Definitely put them on your list uh, of custom home builders to kind of check out. And with their average, what they end up at, $300 a square foot. Now, obviously, this is not just a $300 a square foot home. They've really gone above and beyond just to really showcase what they can do. All right, that's gonna do it for a tour of Casey Customs Home, brand new model home in Vintage Oaks, New Braunfels, Texas. Remember to come in the 2722 entrance. Love this builder, uh, also love this community. But if you've got any questions on it, my contact information will be on the very next slide and in the description box, way to reach out to me, either click the link from my Calendly app or text me, it's always an easy way to go. And, wanna say hi to Miss Amy or goodbye? Hi. All right, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, but most importantly, if you know someone moving to the Texas Hill Country and they're not already working with a real estate agent, feel free to have them reach out to me. I'll be happy to help. All right, make sure you share this channel as well. All right, take care now.